So when you're getting ready to make a pot on the potter's wheel, it's called throwing. The process of making it on the wheel is called throwing. You're going to need a bucket of water, a sponge, one of the small sponges. You're going to need a wooden tool. It could be a wooden rib or a wooden knife like this. You're going to need a needle tool. You're going to need a cutoff wire. You can share this with someone beside you if there's not enough. You're going to need a bat for all the awesome stuff you're going to make. So a bat is just this round piece of masonite. And you can set it off to the side. And you're going to need a ball of clay. And you notice this is not a ball right now. I need to pat it into a ball. Because it wouldn't make any sense to start trying to make a round thing with a not round piece of clay. So I'm going to pat it into a ball just like I was making a pinch pot. And now I want to attach it to the wheel. So if I just stick this on here, it just comes off really easily. I need to wet this a little bit, but I don't want puddles and puddles of water. So I'm going to take my sponge and squeeze it out so that it's just damp. There's no drips coming out of it, but it's definitely wet. And I'm going to start in the middle of the wheel and go out to the edge. So now there's just a thin layer of water on there. There's no puddles but it's enough that's going to help suction cup this onto the wheel. So I also don't want to just set this down, it still comes right off. I need to slam it down so it really sticks. So you can see that I've slammed it down, it is stuck, but it's a little off center. I can look at the circles on the wheel and it's a little bit too far this way. So I'm just going to, instead of peeling it off, I'm just going to wiggle it closer to the middle. And then check it all the way around and now I'm ready to go. Sometimes beginners have trouble with this popping right off and one thing that can help a little bit is to rub in the edges so just kind of seal it to the wheel all the way around like that. You probably won't find this necessary once you're a little more experienced but sometimes I notice for beginners this can really help to prevent water from getting under there and then it just sort of slides right off. So the first step is centering the clay. So to center the clay I want kind of a medium to fast speed. I don't want to go too slowly like this for example would be much harder to center the clay than if I were going a little faster. So I'll get it up to kind of a medium speed and if you want you can take your foot right off the pedal because you won't need to have it on the pedal for a little while. And then I need to wet my hands because right now you can see that it's just too rough. Like it's just rubbing against my hands. Too much friction. I'll just pull this right off if I don't get my hands wet. So I'm going to dip both of my hands in the water. So it's really a lot of water. My hands are shiny. Once I touch the ball of clay, the ball of clay is shiny. I also need to pay attention to my body position. I really want to have my elbows resting on either my thighs. Um, I'm pretty short, so I need them to rest on my thighs, or if you're really tall, you would be sitting way back here, you might want your arms resting on the splash pan. I'm going to move my stool back up and sit so that my elbows are on my thighs and my hands are on either side of the ball of clay. So I'm, it's starting to dry out just a little bit, so I'm going to get more water. And I'm resting my hands right on this aluminum metal wheel head. It won't hurt you pretty smooth uh, and you're just going to squeeze your hands together. So squeezing my hands together forces the clay up. So you can see the clay started to get a little dry, it's not shiny anymore. So I need more water. You can see my hands are getting kind of sticky too so I'm going to get more water. And I don't need to go all the way to the bottom again. I'm going to work a little higher up and just squeeze my hands together again. Again get more water. And I'm just going to squeeze the top of this all the way together. It's okay if a little piece comes off the top. You want to come up to a point. Then again, getting water, make sure it's really slippery. I'm going to have a bracing hand and a pushing down hand. My pushing down hand, I like to use this muscly part of my thumb. You don't have to use necessarily that part, but I like it because it kind of makes a little L right here. And so I can have my hand on the top and on the side at the same time. So I'm going to push down 
and once it starts to kind of get closer to the wheel head, my bracing hand is going to try to be as steady as possible. And I'm going to push down and into the bracing hand. As long as this hand does not move, the ball of clay should be centered. It might take one more time of coning up and pushing down. But if my bracing hand is doing its job properly, this should be centered. I can feel that it's a little bit off. It's just a little wiggly, so I'm going to do it again. So I'm squeezing together. It starts to feel sticky, so I get more water. Squeeze a little more. Stop and get some water. And then squeeze till it comes up to a point. And then I'm going to start pushing down. So I'll use this meaty part of my thumb. You can do it the other way if you prefer. Um, I just like bracing with my right hand and pushing down with my left, but you can do it the other way. So I'm going to start pushing down. Once it gets sticky, you can see it's starting to stick to my hand. Get some more water. And this hand, this bracing hand, I'm leaning hard on that elbow, and I want to keep this hand very steady, and that's what's going to center the clay. This one I can pick up and have my elbow up in the air because I'm just pushing down with this hand, so I have more leverage. So to check to see if this ball of clay is centered, I'm going to get one hand wet and put it right over. You can see maybe that my wrist is bumping around a little bit, so it's not quite centered. If it were really off-center, you would see it even more pronounced. Like this, you can see how my arm is kind of making a little circle. It's going around and around and around. My fingers are kind of wiggling around like that. So this is how you can tell it's not centered, so that means you need to do the whole process again. Cone up, and then push back down. And then check it again. So now that is pretty darn close. It could probably be a little bit more on center, but I'm not going to worry about it at this point. So I'm going to make another video on how to open and pull up the walls. I just wanted this one to be about centering. So I'm also going to talk a little bit about mistakes people make. One mistake is people think their elbows are on their thighs, but they really have them out like this. And then when you start squeezing, you have to use your whole body. And it, if it starts to go off, the tendency is to want to follow your hands around it like this. And that's going to make it go further and further off like that. So you really want to make sure you're leaning into your elbows. And squeezing. The other thing people seem to think uh, you need to do is that when you're coning up, you need to slide your hands up. Once you get a little more practice, you can slide your hands up. But what happens is sometimes you lift the whole piece of clay off the wheel and other times you end up doing it too fast and you end up with a spiral, so it starts to look sort of like an ice cream cone, which could look kind of cool, but you're not going to make a very good pot out of it. It just kind of looks neat while it's on the wheel. So I'm really squeezing and then moving my hands up, squeezing and then moving my hands up and squeezing and moving my hands up, rather than spiraling up like that. Now my clay is back to being centered.